What's up Starlight Aquatics? Coming back at you with another video. I have put a canister filter on the tank and I have stripped my bullet filter down. So now that is just uh, more of a flow push uh, moving the water. So have some baby angels in here. Uh, there is eight angelfish all in here. Um, moving back to uh, getting this tank in shape, I have uh, the spray bar. Up here, that's my return. And I have it pooling, as you see, little tannins and stuff being sucked into the back inlet. There's one of my happy little guys. Likes being on camera, apparently. All right, so this is water clarity. The spray bars are, um, I'm actually really a big fan of the spray bars now because um, before I didn't know how or what I thought about spray bars, but uh, the, even, uh, the even rate of uh, return from the canister filters is, uh, is, is quite possibly the, the best if it's spread out. Because uh, as you see all the little bubbles and stuff that's coming back and it's returning and then that's also pushing. So this tank is getting properly uh, turned over. And the plants are moving a little bit. Fish are happy. I do have one hang on the back filter. And that is nothing more than a backup. You know basically I didn't take it off uh, I possibly will get another uh, uh, canister filter and put it underneath on this side with the spray bar going across this side with the inlet like here over here and then just run to uh, this canister filter um, it is the It is the Cascade 700. Uh, it's got this prime button. This is my uh, inlet. The water in. This is the water out. Pretty simple works very well it has two baskets this is again the cascade 700 uh, I put this on to try to try it out uh, my glass is a little dirty because I was messing around with the water I got some water streaks on there but you know this is what it is I don't uh, you know hide that I work on my tank you know the water streaks everything look I even knocked my uh, my thermometer because that's uh, what we got 80.4 I keep it really nice in there for them at all times what's up buddy uh, see I got this uh, the uh, the probe is supposed to actually be in that but uh you know to hold it there but I mean you know this is uh this is what it is you know just doing different things my Eheim uh, Jaeger heater is uh, that, that 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 thing is awesome those things are awesome a lot of people don't understand how to use them properly set them but uh, again you know I have videos on how to properly set those and you know um, 
you just got to fool with it and have a digital uh, readout to, to, to back up, you know, what that's at. Because what you set that at might not be necessarily, you know, where the tank is. Uh, when you have larger tanks like this, uh, you know, they might work a little harder, a little less. But uh, that's actually double the... Uh, the specs for this tank so it doesn't it doesn't turn on quite that often uh, I put a little bit of water and to top it off up to the the bar it's probably why it came on um, but other than that um, yeah that's that's pretty much it I'm uh, I'm I'm doing the angelfish thing you know I quite honestly really love these fish and uh and uh these two I got them when they were uh when they were itty bitty itty bitty I mean they were like they were like that guy I mean maybe the size of a quarter you know but uh but yeah, that's what it is. And uh I got eight eight angelfish and uh I got the glow tetras, I got the black skirt tetras, I got uh shit, what else do I got? Um got my farewells. I know you guys remember my farewells. They they do a great job of getting all the little knick knacks and little itty bitty tight spaces. Uh they they have gotten huge. I mean, um those guys were small, itty bitty. I mean, so small. Now you can actually see, like, the details on them. Um, and here's the other one. So now you can see, like, all the details on him. His body and stuff is really cool. Will you get out of here. I've already talked about you. Gotta be, gotta be all up in that screenshot. Anyway, I'm gonna be adding some new. Um, I'm gonna be adding a lot of plants here shortly. But as uh, as I've said, you know, uh, if if anybody's got any ideas or uh, you know they uh, they want to know how to keep their water crystal clean and uh, clear and and uh, tannin free and and just uh, keep them ammonias down like to nothing because that's probably the best uh to have zero zero ammonia zero nitrate zero uh nitrites you know perfect ph but uh also that's what i i um uh, made a video in the past about the um the master kits which uh you can get for fresh water or salt water also uh the master kits they do come in handy they will save your ass so uh definitely if uh if if you're having any kind of like water issues and you need to know where your parameters are uh go down to your local pet store and grab yourself a master kit uh let me see if uh again you don't Uh, here, let me grab one that's not open. And uh, if you don't believe me, there's the one I use. This is what it is. I use this religiously. Got all my stuff underneath here. Gotta have your polyfill. You stick that bad boy in there, polish. Got some foods got uh i'm sorry that's the new one this is the one that i'm using now but uh what the hell's the edge of this thing but anyway let's see this is this is everything that's old guess i left stuff in there from the last time yep that's my but anyway, um, yeah, as for as your nitrate, 
There's two bottles for that. Ammonia. That's one of the. I think there's two for the ammonia. You got to put drops for each. And the same thing. Nitrate. Yep, nitrate. And then that should be the uh, high range pH if, uh, if you're trying to figure out. And then the nitrate. These kit, these kits. I'm telling you, man. They're uh, guys and gals. They're 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 great to have. Uh, I uh, I use them. Uh, you know, still got to do your uh, your gravel vacuuming. Got a couple nets in there. Uh, got my tubing for uh, for my for my gravel vac down there. People have asked, you know, what do you got? What do you use? It's quite simple, simple stuff, you know. It's like uh, take the take the hobby back to the the nitty gritty, the basics, you know. And then uh, you basically don't have to go out and and uh, do nothing spectacular. Uh, you can you can get the job done with common sense and and uh, just the the bare essentials. But uh, if you guys uh, if you guys think uh, more plants should go in here, I definitely think I need to get more plants in here. Um, let me know what you think would be a good plant to put in here. I'm open for suggestions, you know. And then uh, just looking to maybe do a little bit of uh, like tall on the on the on the the ends you know get a little bit of action uh you know like a little mid plants here maybe do a couple more of these little like coming out like this with the shorts you know what i mean it's got to paint a little bit you know take these and then be like whew, that way and then, and then see what's up but uh that's pretty much it guys happy fish it's all that matters. Let's take a look at some of these. Uh, take a look at some of these new babies that I got. There's a. Uh, you're not new. You've been in there. I've raised you for a little bit, but you need to get bigger. You need to eat. There's a baby. He likes to hang out up there. That's a black angelfish. And he's cool. It's probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. There's a platinum angelfish. There's a... I'm pretty sure this one this one right here is in the koi family. He's a really cool guy. Turn sideways so people can see you. He's a little fart. Uh, let's see. And then you have the more common angelfishes that you'll find the the veal side is what I call them <laughs> but uh you know you got the the, the barb looking angelfishes those are cool between the black ones the platinums uh, and probably the barb ones they're pretty cool and then you have the traditional koi got Mr. Moo 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 he looks like a cow he's in the koi family he's cool um, and then I got, uh, and I got these guys, Mama and Papa, but, uh, I'm not really sure if it's Mama and Papa, I mean, you know, I haven't really got into how to sex them quite yet, I'm gonna be looking at that, but, uh, with angelfish, I do know that you need to look at their, uh, their body, should be a nice even like you see even on on this one I'm pretty sure this is a female I'm pretty sure this is a male but uh you know with the head the head should be sloped like sloped should be a nice even body uh, and these should be long as the body, you know, that's basically, uh, that way, you know, these fish are not dwarfed. And, uh, I, I look at fish when I go to, to get them to make sure that they are just perfect in every single way. 
see Mr. Moo. Mr. Moo. He's got nice long, you know. I've seen angelfish that just looked weird. They they didn't have all the the traits and they were just off, you know. See? But these are all healthy guys. And uh so what we're gonna do now is, is we're going to we're gonna sign off. But uh Is what it is. Give you some food, guys. Got to tear up that tetramen. Got some tropical flakes from right now. I'll feed them different things. I even give them blood worms. Give them blood worms. Give them tropical flakes and give them uh, the crisps they love it all well they're going to eat I'm going to sign off and I'll see you guys soon get back to me on what you think that uh, I should put in here for plants you know what kind of plants do you have in your aquariums um, you know definitely uh, hit me up with uh, what, what you're doing you know what are you doing because uh that's all good, you know, just uh, one big happy fish family and the fish keeping world. And uh, I'm just part of it, man. I'm one of you guys. I'm nobody special. I do this for fun. And I mainly do it for the love of them, you know, these guys. So just uh, putting it out there, what I do is just an added bonus to you guys that might want to get into the hobby and do it too. Get back to me on uh, with the... Uh, what plants you guys use? What do you rock? What do you got? If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss nothing. Check out my previous videos. I got a lot of DIY, how-tos, and uh, fish keeping things. All the way back to my discus keeping days. Um, you know, I uh, stopped keeping discus, but... Uh, but other than that, you know, I'm moving forward into the angels and, and stuff like that because uh, this tank is going to be my uh, one of my primary uh, tanks for, for the freshwater. And then I plan on doing a stand and getting a saltwater and then starting that up and then doing another saltwater. I haven't done a saltwater in a long time, so it'd be fun. So anyway, guys, I'll see you later. This is Danny, Starlight Aquatics. Like, hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't. Slap that subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Peace.